We are previewing the Bob Hope Classic with our golf columnist, Steve Elling. Steve, welcome to what is going on. Well, let's start on Wednesday with this tournament because it's a Wednesday start. How do you think this will affect the tournament? <laughs> well, it usually affects it um, uh, in a negative way by virtue of the fact that a lot of, you know, a lot of the rank-and-file players played last weekend in Hawaii. So, you know, which is a five-hour plane flight into Los Angeles um, or thereabouts, um, you know, and then a two-hour drive into Palm Springs from there. And, you know, consequently, the field usually takes a hit. And, you know, this year the Bob Hope's got one guy, uh, the, the top ranked guy in the field is Mike where he's 37th in the world ranking. This is probably going to be the weakest field of the entire season, including the fall series events, uh, in terms of firepower. There's just not, um, just not much there. And a lot of it is the short turnaround. You know, you get to fly back from the Hawaiian islands on a lot of them on Monday morning. Um, and if they're going to play, that means they're in, you know, they're, they're in Palm Springs a day later to start playing one practice round on Tuesday. So, it's a tough turnaround, and consequently, the, the commitments take a hit. Not much there, including local guys. Anthony Kim grew up in the area, but he's playing on the European Tour in Abu Dhabi. Was this kind of a dig? How did people receive this? Well, um, if you talk about Kim specifically, um, you know, uh, I think he's making a mistake. Uh, you know, a lot of the young guys like to chase the appearance fees, and that Abu Dhabi event is run by IMG, which is um, his management firm. So, you know, I understand the temptation. He did this last year. He went down a little bit uh, early in the season, um, went overseas a couple of times, went to Australia. Uh, so, you know, he's young. He's in his mid-20s, so he's got a lot of energy. Uh, but, you know, it would be nice, the guy is a, I mean, he's a graduate of high school right there in the Palm Springs area. He would have been a huge drawing card for a tournament that's sorely in need of, you know, star power. So, uh, you know, that's another guy that, you know, you scratch your head and, you, you know, you wonder, is he making the best decision right now for himself and his, his image and those types of things? And, you know, Anthony, frankly, is a guy who's, whose image can use a little bit of, of repair. You say it's in need of star power. It's also in need of good weather, but it doesn't look to be the case, does it? Yeah, they um, they've they've already uh, they've already elected to ban fans from the practice rounds on Tuesday because the weather's going to be so bad. It's interesting. Uh, one of the huge uh, drawing cards of of Palm Springs over the years has always been uh, the weather has been just idyllic, almost year in and year out. They occasionally get the, uh, the wild windstorms blowing there through the desert. Uh, but when they're playing up against the mountains, you know, you don't really feel it. Uh, a lot of guys have called it uh, basically like playing uh, domed golf, golf in a domed football stadium where the weather is just perfect. It's almost like it's climate controlled. And consequently, we've had guys like um, David Duvall shoot 59 there. And, and some other guys have threatened that number over the years. So yeah, wet weather and, and a tough slog. Uh, I don't know how that will affect scoring. I mean, in some, in some instances on shorter golf courses, it means they can go directly at flags a little more aggressively. So um, we'll have to see how that works out. Steve, you and I speaking before the video, you mentioned the PGA Tour could add a stop. What's the very latest on that? Yeah, it's, um, as we speak here on, on Tuesday morning, it looks like the commissioner is getting ready to announce the addition of a, of a new fall series event in Sea Island, Georgia, which is a little uh, barrier island off the coast of Georgia, um, a huge um, high-end destination, vacation destination for years and years, a hotel out there called the Cloisters, which is famous and um, <laughs> for those people that don't mind spending five thousand dollars a night for oceanfront uh, hotel room. Uh, it looks like you know they've been they've been working on this for well over a year. It didn't come together last year. They had some trouble uh, finding uh, some title sponsors. They were actually talking to multiple people, and it looked like it's it looks like it's going to plug right into the fall series. I'm guessing probably uh, the week of uh, let's say October fourth through the tenth. They've got an open date there, so. Uh, you know, the fall series looks like it's going to be around for a while. There were some of us that were wondering whether it was going to become kind of extinct. They'd moved a couple of fall series events into the regular season here in the last couple of years, uh, the Texas Open being one. Uh, the event uh, up at Turning Stone in New York State, number two, was moved into the regular season this year. So it had gone from seven down to four. And it looks like they're beefing it back up, which is good. It gives kind of the rank-and-file guys another opportunity to play. 
because, uh, you know, um, in all honesty, they be, they've got so many short field events now on the PGA Tour that a lot of guys that are, you know, say 100 to 150th on the money list just don't have nearly as many opportunities to play. So uh, this gives what? I guess it would be the proletariat another at-bat, which is good to see. Sure, they look forward to it. We look forward to no rain from Wednesday to Friday. Hopefully that holds off, and you can track it right here on this site. For Steve Elling, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Until next time.